Morning, Rev. I'm on the weekly leaderboard. <clears throat> so, that's that's brutal. We're just moving across town. Um, I think I'm supposed to keep this. I have plenty of lands. I've asked for told living end. If we draw any, if we draw like a gristle brand, we get to use the lightning axe to flip it into play. Bellicut, Bellicut, yep. Half a year, how have you dealt with my bad puns and jokes? Alex, going on, Night of St. Traft. Enjoy. Enjoy the training sword. You are one step closer to being a defender of the realm. Thanks for the support. Half a year, welcome back. Welcome, everyone. Everyone's having a good Monday. Let's kick off the week. This hand is not... Things are not panning out here, chat. Things are not panning out. I was hoping that the living end would let us lean into being a sweeper here, which would be potentially useful if they they were a faster deck, but living end obviously not going to be very useful against Valakut. It's good, good clean modern. I mean, you could maybe argue that I should have mulliganed the opening hand that we had. <clears throat> All right, tighten me, baby. Tighten me, baby. We could still draw a Gristlebrand next turn and then, like, flip a Gristlebrand into play. If they put a... Assuming they play a Titan. Maybe we're really lucky and their hand is like five primeval titans and no lands. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, so they get, they get double Valakut here and then, uh, then they get double mountain and we're dead. Good clean living, good clean living. Thank you, McCullough. That's for green black infect, I assume. Sounds good. All right, what are we doing here? Uh, I have I have collected brutality, I guess. Lightning Axe is pretty bad here. Just good clean living there. Easy in, easy out. I mean, yep. Oh yeah, they are on Breach, aren't they? Yeah, I guess Dispel would be fine. I don't like bringing it in for just Summoner's Pact, but they're on Breach 2, which makes it a little bit better. Every, every matchup against uh, Valica Titan is a race. Their deck, their deck doesn't really interact. Well, if we get a black source, we get to put a gristle pig into play next turn, and we get uh, draw step chase plus looting here, so we get a lot of shots at black source. Yay! Yay! Where's my gristle pig? There's my gristle pig. Who's a good little gristle pig? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're a good little gristle pig. We have black in their deck. That's interesting. Did I hit a living end and an ass foretold? I did. Okay, so let's uh, 
attack with this. I think I'm just passing the turn here. Yeah. Let's discard Exarch and this land and this land. And these ancestral visions and this land and this land. This land is your land. This land is my land. Bum, 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 bum. Please don't play Relic of Progenitus. That will make me very sad. So next turn, we can go Collective Brutality, spot check for like Lightning Bolt or something like that. And then like land, pitch spirit guide, as foretold living end, kill the Makiki combo. What just good, clean, interesting games of Magic the Gathering? Get him. Get him. You ready to floop? Floop the piggies! Where's my gristle pig? Where's my gristle pig? There's my gristle pig. Alrighty. Alrighty. We could we could flip Jace. You're not you're not wrong. We we could we could technically flip chase. Alright, I'll slide dispel it here. Get rid of an ancestral vision that probably doesn't matter. Alright, let's do it. Ah, excellent. My basic swamp. My basic swamp is a charm deck. Uh, you could technically turn to them. You can turn one looting, turn two pitch. You can turn one looting, discard Kiki Jiki, Deceiver Exarch, turn two go Spirit Guide as foretold living and your combo into play. Look at that. We're such a powerful wizard. We got powerful chat. Fear, fear the power. Fear the power. You're not. You're not wrong, Anironics. To set the bar exceedingly low, we have now outperformed Mono Blue Living End. To set it, to start things off, off at a very low. Get to be on the play, that's exciting. It's, a it's actually a shame we're not on the draw, because if we were on the draw, I'd snap this and just, like, hand-size discard Gristlebrand, but I think it's just too slow to, like, discard the hand-size on turn two and then flip the pick on turn three. Adam Main, with the 14-month three subscription, thank you very much and welcome back, I appreciate it. Yeah, so if we were on the draw, I think I'd keep this, but I think on the play we need to, we need to play catch and release. Well, I, it's not even that turn three Gristle Brand is strictly too slow in modern. It's just that there's too many things our opponent has. Our opponent has too many chances to interact with us. If that's our plan, is the problem like that? That hand just like concedes to a, like a turn one discard spell, right? We used the green screen over the weekend for parts of the twenty four hour stream. I haven't had a chance to take it down yet because I was a degenerate and streamed more over the weekend instead of cleaning up my basement. Is this unkeepable? Where are we at? Is this really unkeepable? Can I keep this? I feel like I can keep this, right? I think this hand's fine. I get a scry. We're gonna play more spell stutter sprites, don't you worry. I think I keep this. No, we're on the play with a scry. We're on the play with a scry. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Whoop. Whoop. Ew.
Alrighty. If we uh, run a couple of lands off here, we get to uh, gas back up with this as foretold Ancestral Visions. I mean, it's kind of a four-card hand. Calling it a four-card hand is, like, disingenuous because we care about having cards in our discard pile. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Hit me, baby, one more time. Oh, no. Oh, no, chat. Where's my land? Oh, I should I should I have suspended this? Maybe I should have suspended. I don't know. Like, I feel like if I'm not hitting lands, I'm losing anyways. So... Oh, yeah. Do me dirty, Daddy Sram. Do me dirty. Their deck actually has a decently high brick probability until they play uh, the other one here. They don't have a second guy to draw cards. Ban, hashtag, ban, bone saw. Man, these are tracks or only draw threes. It's pretty weak. Pretty weak. Only, only ancestral recall. Free ancestral recall at that because of box opal. Are you ready? Bone saw is ready. Re Noxious revival, the retract. All right, are we at the, I feel like we're at the life EV concession point, right? Only a draw four, weak sauce opponent. Weak sauce. No, our Valakut opponent skillfully mulligan to zero in game three and conceded. Because we're a powerful wizard. What's going on, Jid Kit? Who wants to sit here and watch this? Ooh, Serum Visions is good for us. Does anybody want to sit here and watch this? All right. I'm really kind of surprised they haven't hit a uh, hit. What's his name? Right, the other one. Pure Steel Paladin is that his name? And Paladin was his name. Oh, do, 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 do. And Brickoff was his name. Oh, you drew all the bricks. You drew all the bricks. We can't draw a land. Do, 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 do. All right. Um. So. So. Um. I think I'm supposed to click submit. I think I'm supposed to click submit. I feel like I'm supposed to, I guess I'll bring in this dispel. Because I can counter retract. <clears throat> Is explosives even good? Like, Killing their stuff is, like, really narrow. Like, are we holding up two mana? Like, if we're holding up two mana for explosive, we're just, like, not doing anything with our turn, right? Like, I'm pretty sure this is a hope they don't have it matchup. Like, the amount of mana that you have to hold up for that to be practical is, like, absurd. My arm is bleeding. That's not good. Ugh. Don't have children, they attack you. Ugh. Did she off get ya? Uh, this, I can't keep this, right? Oh. Yeah, this one's fine. Got a Gristle Pig and a Deceiver Exarch to put in the bin. I would like a blue land. It went 
all right. A lot of red decks are pretty bad in modern right now. I think my my my, my TLDR takeaway from from playing a bunch of aggressive decks over the weekend is that the decks that are like more creature zoo based decks are more are more appropriate than are better in the format than than not. We ended up not playing it, Deckmaster. He said too many other things to play. Gosh, look at this interaction. All those people telling you Modern wasn't an interactive format. Get is it charmed. Nice spider silk net. Made it all the way till turn five, chat. What a, what a long game of magic. What a, what a long, long game of magic the gathering. We need to put Gristle Pig into play next turn. That's so exciting. This little piggy into play and go wee 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 all the way home. Muddle the mixture. Muddle your mixture, baby. Muddle your mixture, baby. You didn't see them. You didn't look. They're all on. They're all on. They're all on YouTube. I just also streamed more than just the twenty-two hours. So there's decks after them as well now. All right. I actually haven't found a living end yet. That's awkward. I think I was going to take another seven here. We want a living end so we can floop. Floop dorks next turn. Sweet, it was the last card there. Yeah, it was just red aggressive decks. We wouldn't, there's, they, I wouldn't have done just straight burn for 22 hours. That would have just been bad content that most people wouldn't have watched. For good reason. It's not interesting in the slightest. I also would have lost a fuck ton of tickets because burn is not particularly good. God, we even get to hold interaction up here because we have we have lightning axe spirit guide. This is so good. Our deck is so powerful. Get to kill him. Kill him, dead. Uh yeah, I think I want the land. And I want these two too as well. We had one 5-0. Yeah, we actually had our peak viewers for the weekend. Uh, I didn't have my peak viewers lifetime. My lifetime peak viewers are actually during the 12 hour Owling Mine stream, believe it or not. We hit, uh, I hit 1900 viewers during that stream, but my peak for the long stream was, was over the night, which really makes me think that maybe, um, maybe I should consider doing a third shift stream on occasion. Uh, the zoo deck that we played, the revolt zoo deck. No, just any card. Put my gristle pigs into play. Put my gristle pigs into play. These are my pigs. My pigs are amazing. Trying to oh this doesn't work. Oh, this doesn't work chat chat. I've made a huge mistake chat. This doesn't work. Oh, no 
Err, no. I was like, I could save the dispel. No, I can't. That's not how that works. That's not how... Oh, wait, this is fine. This is fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna get to untap. I'm gonna get to untap these lands. I'm gonna get to untap these... No, this is fine. I knew what I was... I knew what I was doing the whole time. I knew what I was doing the whole time. Anybody that tells you I didn't know what I was doing is a fucking liar. <laughs> Anybody that tries to tell you I didn't know what I was doing is lying to you. I knew I knew what was going on the whole time. I didn't I didn't figure that out by mistake. <clears throat> yeah, what a sick line. Just just truly the best. I just wanted to show you all the neat interactions this deck could have. Just the old call that call that the Kansas City Shuffle. They try to knock your survival of your Kiki Jiki. You gotta do the Kansas City Shuffle. You gotta move them, move them all around. Take your pigs and floop them up and down. Do the Kansas City Shuffle. Let's, let's stand up so we can shuffle. How are we doing, folks? Happy Monday. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to keep this. Yep. Yeah, I just I just push it forward when I'm sitting. I'm gonna go ahead and shock in this AV in case we don't die. It was so weird being home without the kids over the weekend. Like, I, it was like, my sleep schedule was fucked up, obviously, because I uh, did a 24-hour stream. Um, so it was like 2 a.m. technically on Sunday. And I was like, man, the living room's dirty. I'm going to vacuum. I was like, I can't vacuum at 2 a.m. And I was like, wait, there's nobody here. I can vacuum at 2 a.m. Oh, the, the flames in Hoaglandia have settled. We're rebuilding, we're rebuilding our kingdom on the backs of the memes. You could maybe argue I'm supposed to hold up is a charm this turn, but I think that's incorrect because if they had a thing, they would have done it last turn. And like now we're actually going to be in like a pretty decent spot, right? I guess maybe I'm supposed to just hold that and like plan to... I can just hold that and like plan to do this the old fashioned way. It's like pay five mana for my Kiki Jiki. It's like the way Richard Garfield intended it to be cast. Let's see that. With Is it Charm plus Lightning Axe here and the fact that they don't have a creature yet, we should be in a pretty good spot. I'm gonna fetch Basic Swamp here. We'll flash in this Exarc and undiddle our Jace and then rediddle him to loot. Hey, diddle diddle, the Jason the fiddle. The Deceiver Exarch jumped over the moon. Probably been this other Jace. Yeah, def definitely should have just kept Freaky Kiki in our hand, huh? I guess that's coming off soon, though, too, so maybe we can draw another one. Do I want to get an extra loot? I think I actually want an extra loot out of this rather than rather than flipping him sooner. So like I could I could fetch and then flip the Jace this turn, but I think I'd actually rather get an extra loot out of him. So I'm going to loot at the end step and then fetch afterwards. Chad Tribal, thank you for the bits, Bionic Broccoli. 10 out of 10, we'll get them for Chad Tribal. Dear Watsy, please give me Kaya Ghost Assassin in Modern so I can play her in Chad Tribal. 
And now he's going to flip next turn regardless. So I'm going to go ahead and fetch here. Again, I'm a little bit sad now that I didn't keep the Kikijiki in my hand. But I get I get a draw step. I get an Ancestral Visions. And I get uh, something else towards trying to find one. Hey, hey, we drew a Dispel too. That's pretty great. So we've got Dispel plus is it charm to defend freaky kiki here when you could floop gristle brand into play but it's not your best option yeah i didn't even yeah undefeated undefeated this is better than the ticket incinerating party i thought we were going to have today I can I can stamp exceeds expectation on this deck list. Pro pro tip chat. If your expectations are low, it's easy to exceed them. <laughs> I think the Gantis in the board are sweet. I'm going to go do work before we regress to the bead. <laughs> All right, Bobby. I'll have you know we're going to we're going to five of this. Should someone build this deck? I mean, do you like fun? Do you like flooping gristle pigs into play? If you answered yes to any of these questions, this is an all right deck to build. Man, seems like a faithless looting away from being the nut. I'm going to mulligan. I'm going to mulligan. I'm gonna keep this one. We got a got a thirst for knowledge. Opponent mulligan to five. This is great. I, think I actually want to bottom this. I'm just looking for a land, right? Land or like a looting. Yeah, it's like it's like the old Jeskai control decks, right? The old Jeskai combo decks, like Jeskai twin, basically. How are we doing? Hope nobody minded that I decided to sign on early today. I didn't. I didn't stream enough over the weekend, so I decided to. I decided to fire up about a half hour earlier than I normally do on Mondays. No, all these are modern decks. It's the seven land, seven land modern Belcher. Five hundred bits to the just Kai count. The one Nivik just mentioned. We played twenty leagues. What's what's uh? It's like nine. What's ninety divided by five? Ninety divided by five is eighteen. I think we played twenty because we didn't play all five matches in all of them. So we have turn three thirst for knowledge, and by turn three thirst for knowledge, I mean they're gonna stone rain us with Karn on turn two on their turn three, so we're not gonna be able to. Oh, 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 they don't have a second trod piece chat. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. My gristle pig can't hide it. Be do 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 I had a customer walk in my truck and you said, this is my Kiki, my Kiki is amazing. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Mm. 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 You considered being lucky or Tron opponent? I feel like my opponent should have considered, good lord. Oh no! Oh no! 
Chat. Chat. Oh, no. Oh, no. How do you multi-month sub with Prime? You just have to remember to renew it when it expires. We could just draw two more lands. You're not wrong. You are not, not wrong that we could just draw more lands. Uh, I'm going to bin Gristle Pig in Ancestral Visions here. Time to do things the good old honest way, chat. Did you rant about the crowdsource metagame article? I mean, there's not really much to rant about. It's just like a bunch of people that like really want to do a thing and probably don't understand that their data is so incomplete that it's statistically insignificant. That the, the confidence levels on the data they've presented are so low, they might as well have not even presented it. But people, people are so fucking desperate and so hungry for meaningful Magic the Gathering data that they're willing to look at this and go, oh, this is awesome, even when it's not relevant and not useful. Oh, no! Chat! Chat, how am I supposed to kiki them now? How am I supposed to kiki them now, chat? Everything, everything is falling apart. We live on a house built atop lies, chat. We live on a house built atop lies. Why, why must you hate fun opponent? We're gonna diddle their forest and hope they don't crack this in response. Because they don't crack this in response to diddling the forest, we can floop a gristle pig into play. You need, everybody needs more gristle pigs in their life. Tap that one. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I actually kind of like this card in Tron. You definitely have a lot of hands where, like, you have Tron and have a land tutor and no action, and, like, making two twos is better than doing nothing. Could I have done that on my turn to Gorio's it back in response? That's interesting. That's a neat line. Yeah, I totally could have done that. That's an A, A plus line. I de definitely should have done what was suggested there. And now, but now, now, okay, so like maybe, maybe that's not the line. So like what I get to do now is I get to play this Kiki Jiki, which forces my opponent to blow up their walking ballista. And then if they don't have anything next turn, I get to just like Gorio's Vengeance, my Kiki Pig back into play. And like, you know, floop them, floop the whoop. Shoop the whoop. So I, get to, I get to do this and like, they trade their walking ballista in to kill Freaky Kiki. But then like, Freaky Kiki's in my bin and Relic is no longer on the table. Yeah, we are unfortunately a mana off of Gorio's Zing. Hey, did a little, a cat in the fiddle. Suspend my ancestral vision. Get in there for two. So if they don't have Tron here, we get to like Gorio's Vengeance them next turn. Another walking ballista? Stop it. You stop it right now. Cast a fucking worm coil. No, stop it. Stop it. Damn it, Bobby. What a tilt. What a tilt. Gorio's Vengeance. Gorio's Vengeance. Gorio's Vengeance. Gorio's Vengeance. Gorio's Vengeance. Everybody 
somebody playing bingo out there. There's your there's your cold shot of the morning. There's your cold shot of the morning, chat. I'm just I like to get your I like to get your cold shots off the checklist nice and nice and early. Nice and early. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh baby. Hmm. Hmm. What if we put my kiki pig in to play again? What if we put the kiki pig in to play again? Getcha. Getcha. Do, do, do. Can you feel the salt pouring off the screen? They're making me, they're making, whenever they'd make you click through the twin combo, you could just feel the salt. Oh, yeah. You may exist in the salt opponent, but I was born in the salt. I thrive in it. Your salt empowers me. It makes me a stronger person. The salty, salty tears of Tronlands. Mmm, delicious. Delicious salty tron tears. Mmm. 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 Gosh, I hope they're ghosting so they knew we drew the second, the second Gordon. It's moments like that where I'm like, man, I really hope they're ghosting me right now. I really, I really hope they're ghosting me. Oh no, what if I time out? I only have 21 minutes, chat. Oh no. Oh no, what if I time out? I'm very lucky. Have you met my wife? Have to be lucky to end up with her. We call that a two for one chat. It's identifying that I'm lucky while also complimenting my wife. It's the best kind of two for one. So salty. Random number. God, thank you for the bits. Morning. Beep, 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 beep. I don't, I don't know how many kiki things we have. I don't I don't know. There's probably there's probably a number here that are lethal. Oh, look at that. You didn't want to you didn't want to wait, but I was going to make to see Rex Rex for like two more minutes, opponent. Why didn't you want to wait? All right. So Uh, Sorceress Spyglass. Or I was going to say, do we click submit? But Spyglass is pretty good, right? <laughs> we got you, Elf. This deck is definitely ridiculous. Ridic ridiculous is definitely what I would use or do use to describe this deck. I probably want to cut Ancestral Visions in this matchup, right? It's just not a matchup that's about card advantage. Now, Gantis for like, uh, like Jeskai or Green Black, like the fair, fair mid range and controlled axe is where you want Gonti, I'm pretty sure. Do I need to cut axe? Like, taking Walking Blist off the table is pretty important. I guess Repeal, Repeal floops that too. All right, I like that. I like that. This is flexible. By I like that, I mean I'd already submitted and we're gonna. Repeal could be better than axe. I like that idea. If we get it, if, if we go to a game three. We'll give that a try. Yeah, it seems fine. Not super exciting, but fine. We get to like, is it charm on two, floop gristle pig on three? EE for ballista and relic. Now I think I'd rather have repeal. The fact that repeal can bounce relic too is a big deal. This should definitely be in my deck. Tilt. Spoilers, there won't be a game three. Maybe, maybe. I don't know that we're a lock. I don't know that I would I would consider us a lock or anything like that. I assume they're never going to put this down. Your real scrubs with the brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much and welcome. I appreciate that. So. I think I'm supposed to play this and pass. 
and then end step, I can diddle the one land they leave up and then untap and go loot into Floop, floop Crystal Pig. Savage Rocker with the $10 donation. Let's run Swans back with more braids. Honk, honk. What's going on? Sounds good. Happy to get that one back in the queue. Natural Tron. You're a monster. You're a monster. Weens with the seven month three subscription, floop them. Oblivion Stone. Can we win the game anymore? I feel like we can't, right? All right, I think these repeals are a good idea. I think these axes are probably some nonsense. Let's do this. I guess obstructionist is fine. Yeah, I think we could have beat one piece of disruption there maybe, Tom, but we're just like, they just like have too many things going on. Like, we could maybe beat the board if their deck just, like, did stow nothing for eternity. But, like, that's pretty unlikely. Sand's fine. I think keeping our XR Kiki hands is probably the best thing we could be doing. And, like, we could maybe, maybe do something with this, too. You can look at the stream title to see what we're playing today. You can look at the donation queue to see what we're playing today. Unlike many streams, I'm all about helping the viewers help themselves. So the information is there. I promise you can find it. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go ahead and Exarch here and like undiddle my land cast looting. Yeah, I feel like my opponent should file for comp. It looks like their Tron deck is broken. Never forget Exarch can cost two in a pinch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me the freaky kiki, baby. Give me the freaky kiki. All the negative Nancy's in chat wishing a relic upon my opponent. They must have kept their hand for a reason, right? Like their hand didn't have Tron. I wonder if they have a dismember or something like that. I wonder if this pause is like, do I dismember the Kiki? Dismember's not bad for us. Relic could be annoying. Hopefully we draw an untapped plan and then Kangorio plus is a charm. I mean, like there's 0% chance I don't go for it presented the option next turn, but... Casually, opponent made us make 20 Deceiver Exarchs. Still up two and a half minutes on clock. Just magic online things. 
Just magic online things. Crazy ship with the 10 month resubscription. Thank you very much for the continued support and welcome back. I do appreciate it. In before map gets bajuka bog. Bajuka bog. Don't bog me, baby. Have a heart. Have a heart. Do, do, do. Justin the Disabler is Justin here. That's not that's not the same Justin. That's a different person with a different name. I like that Justin has has people mimicking him in chat though. That's funny. Surgical extraction. Told you they kept their hand for a reason. Whoa, they left the Kiki in the discard pile. Oh, magic. Oh, Modo. Oh, Modo. Dee, 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 dee. I love when you leave my surgical extractions in my ha ha band. Ah, the old concession surgical. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. While we're waiting for the fourth match in this league to pop, we're currently 3 and 0 oh with our beautiful Grixis deck. I would just like to thank everybody for hanging out here this morning. My name is Jeff Hogan. I'm a full time streamer, memer, content producer here on Twitch. If you're enjoying my stuff, please consider subscribing to my channel. My subscribers are the reason that I'm able to stream full time here like I do. I stream 30 plus hours a week, tons of modern, some legacy, some vintage. In addition to subscribing, you can also support myself by checking out some of my wonderful sponsors. MTGOTraders.com, I love to buy and sell some magic online cards with you. And if you use code Hoagland PayPal and check out with them, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. CoolStuffInc.com, buy and sell a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code Jeff5, you can save 5% on magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. InkGaming.com, would love to help you customize your gaming experience. Using code Jeff12, you can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags there. And of course... I'd like to welcome everyone to Hoaglandia. Please talk to your friendly neighborhood moderators about receiving your complimentary timeout. What's going on, Brandon? Into the fourth match here, where we are currently 3-0 and with Gristle Pigs in our deck. Did anybody doubt the power of Gristle Pig? Was there, was there someone among you that doubted the power of the Gristle Pig? Ye of little faith. Ye of little faith. Going to get a steam vents here. Going to cast a faithless looting. Loot, loot, loot. Huh. That lighter emote is gas. All right, so I'm definitely binning one X arc. What am I discarding for the second one? I feel like it's is it charm. I feel like it's is it charm. Nivik hit the 200k crown over the weekend, so I slid him. I slid him an emote. Nam Carver with the brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. There's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch right now. Thanks for supporting mine this month. I'm glad you found the Prime button. Thanks for helping me do what I do here. Ooh. Just looking for... Looking for a land and a freaky kiki here. Yep. All right. All right. Remember when I said this deck felt like it needed more lands? So the thing there, Tom, is I can't cast the is a charm. 
If I had, if I had a, a, the ability to cast as a charm, I'd agree with you. But because I don't, I think I'm supposed to bin it. That's about a dread. I'm pretty sure even if we draw a land here, I'm supposed to risk it for the biscuit and go as foretold ancestral vision. And like, if they kill us, they kill us. I think I need to hold the living end for if I find a freaky kiki. Looks like we're gonna brick and die. That's really unfortunate. I drew four extra cards this game and missed on the land. Just, just the unluckiest chat. Gosh, gosh darned unluckiest. Am I dead yet? Am I dead yet? Smells like a cord for infinite mana. Smells like a cord for infinite mana. Show me the payoff. Show me, show me the payoff. Show me the payoff. Show me, show me the payoff. Show me the payoff. Show me, show me the payoff. So I'm not going to make them fully click through the combo, but their combo is technically a three card combo. They need, they need an Azuri. They need a walking ballista. They need, they need a Duskwatch recruit. They need something that actually kills us here. So until they put something into play that kills us with infinite mana, we're not going to concede. I'm, I'm here and I'm ready, but there's no guarantee that we die this turn. They could just have like a couple of companies that are going to miss. And you know how I know they're going to miss? Cause our opponent is very unlucky. Things that are still not lethal. Things that are still not lethal. Okay, now, at this point, if they pass to us, I'm going to Living End if we draw the land. That's really weird. That's really weird. It's like if someone in chat thinks they know my opponent's deck list. That's strange. Did you, did, are you, are you looking over their, their shoulder at their, their computer? Did you build blind, blinded heart 212's deck list for them? You put it all together yourself? Oh, you didn't? You don't know? You're just guessing? That's weird. That's weird. What if, what if we ended the living? What if we ended the living? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Undiddle my steam vent. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, baby. Let's do it, chat. Are we doing it? I think we're doing it. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm pretty sure this qualifies. Easy clap. Nice land war elves. So you're saying there's a chance. That's all. Ooh, ooh, a gristle pig. Ooh, Gorio's vengeance. Flash this back. And this little piggy's went wee, 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 all the way home. So next turn, we get to, as foretold, cast Gorio's Vengeance, put Kiki into play, and that, or put Gristlebrand into play, then we can draw cards and cast Kiki off of our five lands. Who's ready to floop the Gristle Pig? I'm ready to floop the gristle pig. All right, how are we boarding? How are we boarding? I definitely want angers. I'm pretty sure I want collective brutalities. I don't think I want engineered explosives because the thing we really want to kill out of them is the deceiver is the devoted druid. 
Is trimming ancestral visions insane here? Spyglass, it does technically stop it. I think I'd rather just have removal. Again, chat, you don't want to overboard. Like I already need to cut four cards and I think bringing in five pieces of interaction is plenty. I think five pieces, five pieces of interaction is plenty. EE on two is, is really slow and clunky. I could see trimming Jace over trimming visions. Jace is also like an enabler though when he like flashes back anger of the gods and stuff. Yeah, maybe without the AVs we have too much card disadvantage, so I want to keep some of these. Average Bloom with the $15 donation. Saw the full landfall video last night called the 5-0 and really liked the ideas you were suggesting. Beaumont Courier sounds very good as does the main deck Ghost Quarter. Please put this towards the changes. 10 out of 10 will do Bloom. Thank you for the support. I think Dispel is narrow. Again, chat, you don't want to overboard when your deck has a linear game plan by and large. Like, I think we're bringing in, like, look how much interaction we have already. We have three pieces, we have three axes, four, five, six, with Brutality, 9 with Is a Charm, 10, 11 with Anger, and even Living End, as foretold, is interaction to a degree. Sand looks great. Morning, Joe. Conti to Coco and to Deceiver Exarch. Bob with the lines. I'm gonna put one Exarch in the bin for now. I think I'm gonna put a Swamp here too. And if we find a Kiki in our next three draws, we could kill them on three. All right, Living End's been upgraded to Wrath of God. Living End has been upgraded to Wrath of God. I'm going to hold on to the Faithless Looting for now. Just because I prefer... I'd prefer to, like, have Gorio's Vengeances or things I'm likely to discard in my hand before I do anything with that. So, hopefully they vomit their hands here but don't kill us. And then we can... We can just sweep the board next turn. Yeah, like our, our living ends are just Wrath of God now, which is great. And I definitely just want to sweep here, right? I'm pretty sure this is more than enough to sweep. Is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I'm actually just passing here. I think I can take a hit here. I think I can get more out of them potentially. But like, even if they arc druid, I wouldn't be dead here. So. I'm going to greet a little bit harder here even and just play this out. Put my put my gray ogre into play. A true king among this board. Correct. I'm not passing while I'm dead. Like when I passed there, I was in no way dead dead on their next turn.
I'm going to trade with their Dwinnins Elite here. And then this board, I'm going to sweep at this point. We're low, we're low enough that I want to reset them regardless of what they do. And I think second as foretold is enough cards to get rid of. Yeah, so I don't really care about this. I don't really care about this. Put this into play. Say go. Looking for like land Kiki basically, right? Yeah, you get one spell per turn. So I get one on my turn and one on their turn. Their sequencing is going to get them in a little bit of trouble here. What is, is it charm do? What does that accomplish exactly? I'm going to wait on this. Can I live to cast this crystal brand off the as foretold? We're definitely binning this. Can I live? No, we're definitely keeping the AV. That's not close. Yeah. Fifty bits. Well, that's that. Just thanks for making my decision easy, Zach. Thanks for thanks for making my decision easy. Zach understands how this works. <laughs> Do it for the content. Well, part of the problem is we need to not die to this board, right? But like, hopefully, this AV is going to allow us to not die to the board. So are we pendle havening the land war elves or the one hitting me? Yep. We could also just like draw a Kiki here. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I feel like I'm supposed to double escalate this, right? Just like bin both these lands. Deal. Second, second Exarch's actually great on this board. We're getting, we're getting close, chat. We're getting. Getting close. Yeah, we played a variant of this deck right after it top 16 or top 8 or something in an open or a classic. And it was it felt pretty anemic. We're drawing pretty we're running pretty well today.
These are my one fours. My one fours are amazing. These are my one fours. My one fours are amazing. Do 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 Oh, to yield that big, beautiful as foretold. I'm gonna hold on to that in case we draw another looting or is it charm or collective brutality? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, chat, that could be lethal. All right, so the way this works is I can cast it with the as foretold and then pay five. I thought I had a basic land to get there. I was wrong. I would like everybody that didn't believe in casting this gristle pig, this gristle pig, to hang your heads in shame. 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 Hang your heads in shame. We did it! Zach. Zach with the soccer ball bits as promised. Can I get a timeout for shame? Of course. Oh no, oh no, friendly fire, friendly fire. Anime, oh, you are hanging your head anyways. I had 50 left. Oh baby, oh baby. Look at that. Undefeated with the gristle pigs. The gristle pigs and I, we go, we go way back. We go way, way back. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a great, great Monday. Had a good weekend. I can't not get on this train. Got one more match with the Gristle Pigs here. And then we've got a Heartless Summoning Tashar deck. Is it called Kashar? I don't, I don't actually know what this card's name is. I don't know what this card's name is. I don't, what is, what is this card called? Historic. Is it a Tesh, te, Tashar? Is it Tashar? This is this is what we're doing next at the very least. This is this is what's going to occur on your screen after one more match. So don't worry. This is we need a full on we need a full on meme Monday to wash the taste of red aggro out of our mouths after the weekend. There was there was too much red aggro, only the hardest core of the memes for today. We are, we haven't lost a single match, Mr. Tasty. Playing for that, that sweet, sweet 5-0. This deck is kind of neat. The last time we played this deck, it kind of flopped around a bit, but... This definitely has some nice play to it. And the, the way it gets to play through Graveyard Hate is really interesting. It was 24 hours of red aggro. That is, that is correct. If we were on the draw, I'd probably keep this and bin this to hand size. Should should meme Monday be a thing? Should every should every Monday be, be meme Monday chat? We need more theme days. Just like Whatever, whatever's going on, we just like Monday, I grab the top five memes in the queue. Am I supposed to suspend there? 
to me Monday. Thank you, Big Beanie Cap. If you ask Chad if... I mean, I knew what their answer was going to be. Sit down for a bit. Oof. Mardu Pyro. We're not gonna theme every day. The theme of this stream is is democracy and viewer viewer driven content. But maybe on Mondays I could dig in and pick the just the viewer submitted memes for the day. That's hilarious. Oh, I probably should have gotten a red source there, huh? So I can cast Kiki potentially later. A serious Thursday. Oh. Oh. Poor Jace, he had something fatal for breakfast. Nope. His employment's been terminated. That's so sad. I subbed to Jeff and all I got was a timeout. What's going on? Welcome back, Hive Mind. Yeah, I definitely should have gotten a red source there. I should have gotten a red source or I should have gotten basic island. It's possible I should have gotten basic island against the opponent's deck because they're a Blood Moon deck. I would like to raise my scepter and declare Monday as me Monday. That sounds great, Anironix. All right. From from this day forth, Monday shall hence be me Mondays. It's a collective brutality. Pyromorphos. We play like some fair decks on occasion. We're not we're not all memes every day. We're memes most days. Alrighty. Looking for an as foretold. Looking for an as foretold. Do 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 do. So, is it charm? This one, pass the turn here. Living end is like marginally worse now. Average Bloom with the $15 donation. By the way, I don't believe I've got an invite to the sub discord. <laughs> I appreciate the support. Average Bloom, this is the, the link with the instructions in it. You wanna make sure you're doing it in your desktop web browser. There isn't a link. It just pops up automatically in your discord settings. Because discord, discord handles the integration because when people unsub it, it, it boots them out of the server automatically.
Great, if we draw to see Frex Arc, our opponent is dead. I got really excited there for a second when the Ancestral Vision lit up, and then I was like, oh, wait, I can't cast that. Why would I want to disable the kick when the sub runs out? That's a that's a desired feature. That's not a bug. I'm I'm aware how my technology works. I might end step grab this jace here with the Gorio's vengeance because that gives us an extra loot towards it gives us an extra loot towards finding a deceiver exarch obviously they could have removal here now so they're less likely to be dead but i'm pretty sure we're just supposed to like yolo it No, it's just one extra loot because he flips over. I'm gonna put my put my Jason to play here and then flip him. Feeling pretty dead so far. This will be the this will be a Gonti matchup for sure. Seems pretty good here. I assume we're gonna lose living end. I don't actually know the answer to that question. I think he can, actually. I think if we have as foretold in play, Jace can cast the living end from the bin, but I don't actually know that for sure. I might be misremembering. That was, uh, that's what we like to call a good draw in the biz, chat. That's what we like to refer to as a good draw in the biz. Get my gristle pig back. Put my gristle pig into play. And this little piggy's gonna go wee! All the way home. That was cute. Your card drew three cards. It's fucking adorable. Totes, totes adorbs. God, these are bad. Holy shit. No, I think I killed Eliana here. I'm pretty sure we're just like setting up to grind at this point. So I played this out as opposed to a Black Cleave Cliffs because if my opponent plays a discard spell next turn, I want to be able to pitch Spirit Guide Gorio's Vengeance and Crystal Brand back in response. Maybe I just floop the Jace back actually. Yeah, it's probably better to get the Jace again, huh? Yeah, I think I'm actually going to fetch Shock and get the Jace back.
It's been a sweet game of magic. And then obviously we don't flip this Jace till post combat so they can't attack it with their tokens. We're dead to a bolt here. Which they actually haven't played any copies of yet, so I don't know, I think with how little gas we drew, we gotta we're gonna be dead to a bolt regardless. We'd be in a pretty bad spot if we just like had Simeon Spirit Guide and lands in hand as well. Okay, that means we're not dead this turn. Oh yeah, we can block with Jace. I forgot I forgot Jace has text. Good call, good call. And they might even ship into this other Jace here at this point. No, nope, just all at me, sure. Oh, because this one's going away anyway, because I'm flipping this. That makes sense. Uh, they're dead, right? Yep, we drew Deceive Rex Arc, and we can flash back to Gorio's Vengeance on Kiki Freaky Kiki. GG easy. GG easy. GG easy. Okay, this deck is kind of sweet. This deck has the lines, chat. It has the lines. It has lines on lines and lines. Sorry, Gristle Pig. We got games to win. Sorry, Gristle Pig. We got games to win. Diddle my Exarch. What's going on, Justin? Good morning. Twin you. Anger sounds great. Gaunty sounds great. Brutality's probably fine. I feel like I don't actually want Lightning Axe in my deck just because I don't want that much card disadvantage in this matchup. Yeah, last time we played this, we didn't win a game, right? That sounds right. How do we feel about trimming Simeon Spirit Guide against them? A thirst for knowledge as well. Yeah, I'm pretty confident this is better than Engineered Explosives. Are we supposed to cut Naz Foretold? I don't think so. Maybe it's as foretold. No, I don't play standard. I also don't feel like giving wizards $400 for cards that I can never get back. Like I can, I can play standard on magic online for very minimal cost Cause you can sell the cards back after. And like, I have a sponsor so I can do it for like actual free. Whereas like, to play standard on on arena, I have to like give wizards hundreds of dollars that I will never never see anything any return on. And there's and there's still no guarantee at this point that like arena is not just like another pump and dump duels of the planeswalkers. So even even if arena looks nice, they're gonna have to like prove to me that they're not just like dumping it two years from now before I give them any dollars, even if I wanted to. Seems like a waste to give them money if they're just not gonna support it long term. That's fine. Okay, this is this should be a sweet game. I'm interested to see if our deck has the tools to play through a leyline again. Yeah, we're definitely suspending the AV on one, not close against the discard deck. They didn't have discard on one, but they could have like collected brutality on two. 
I don't think it's always right to suspend on turn one, but this is definitely a case where it's good. The current economy in Arena. Well, I, I just feel like a lot of the decisions that WotC makes are just like very short-term thinking. They like, like a good example of like short-term thinking is that like the amount of press and pushing they've done for Arena when it's in a very unfinished state just like screams to me that they're like desperate for dollars. Like, I don't understand why they had like, they were like paying people to do sponsored streams before like their game even had, but one wasn't even an open beta and two didn't even have a real format in it yet. G Danny 92 with the brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much and welcome. I appreciate that. There's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch right now. Thanks for supporting mine this month. They're missing a land, that's good for us. They are pushing the game when it's full of bugs and some is even unplayable. Yeah, yeah, I just feel like, like, I feel like Arena has like a lot of potential to be like really awesome and do great things for Magic as a game, but I feel like what they're currently pushing right now is not good for the game. Well, I mean, are they calling? I don't think they're calling Arena a TCG. Like Arena by definition is not a TCG. It's just a CCG, it's a collectible card game. A Emmerlan with the brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you and welcome. Ooh, whoo. Uh, yeah, honestly, I feel like you can just sidestep Graveyard Hate with this deck by just like Kiki Exarch comboing and like drawing cards and stuff. So I feel like that's not not an unreasonable approach. So like if we have a game three here, if we fail to win this game, I'll probably like board out like two of the Gorio's Vengeances and one of the Gristle Brands just so like we can have more castable stuff basically. I mean, what it should or shouldn't be are things you could argue. If they have a reasonable card acquisition model, like there are alternatives to being just a TCG that could be good. Like they could offer me a subscription service. They could say, hey, for, for 30, 40, $50 a month, you could have access to every constructed card. And I'd be like, yeah, that's cool. I'd do that. I should have fetched their details. Huh. So do I just jam Gonti now? I kind of want to suspend this other AV. Average Bloom with the $15 donation again. Thanks, bud. I'm getting the next bit badge what I paid on Friday, by the way. But here's money because I still like your stuff. I want to see my baby ASAP. Sounds great. I think I want to suspend the AV. I'm going to put this into play tapped and I'm going to go suspend AV, put this into play tapped and then cast Jace. And like, if this Jace lives, I get to loot away this, this Oreo's Vengeance, which is nice. A big, a big problem with, with arenas, with arenas current card acquisition model is that Unlike Hearthstone, where you can dust cards, m past that, Magic, this is another reason to do this, because they, they can't Inquisition Gonti, but they can Inquisition Ancestral Visions and Jace. Um, with Magic, we have, there are, how, think of how many unconstructed playable cards there are. If I'm someone that wants to just play Constructed on Magic Arena, I have to deal with opening tons of cards that are just never going to be of any use to me. Like that doesn't exist in a lot of the other a lot of the other games where there's limited only. All right, let's start by looting, I guess, since I really don't need this anger at the moment. I think I'm holding on to the gristle peg. I think we're gonna dream big and like try and cast him in in three turns, three to four turns. I think I just take the bolt here, right? I think I just take the bolt. I guess I could use this to spot check for removal or spot check for removal. I 
No, I don't think I want the Bedlam just because I already have Gristlebrand. I think, like, the way I lose this game is they draw a threat. It's really sad that the economy in Arena sucks because, like, as far as, like, actual gameplay and software goes, it looks really sweet. And, like, I've played it a really small amount. I just got, like, bored really quickly playing with shit to your decks. So, like... The fact that, like, it might be bad because it might be bad because of stupid reasons is, like, kind of annoying. Yeah, it's really sad we can't Kiki Ganti, huh? Are there eight mana producing lands in this deck? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's only seven fetchable mana producing lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Have we discarded any? We've not discarded any yet, so that's good. That's good. But RV Soft, that that's excusable. The game the game is in closed beta still. They haven't they haven't released it. General clunkiness is fine. They haven't released it yet. Mora Sith with the seven month tier two resubscription on the downhill slide to my sword. Be sure to drop me a message in private and let me know what deck you'd like to bump in the queue this month. Thank you for that next level of support. I appreciate it. Poor Gonti. Details on how the donation queue works can be found here. If you have any questions about specifics after reading that, feel free to drop me a message. But I mean, like, you're not giving, and this is, this is just like shitty internet people thing. Posting, complaining about the lack of polish in my Twitch chat isn't giving feedback. Like, go, going and making a post on, on the, the MTGA forums with specifics about the issues that you see, that's giving feedback. You bitching in a random Twitch chat that, po that there's polish lacking, that's not feedback. That's just like you being a mouth breathing Twitch user. That's not, that's not how feedback is classified. Feedback, like, that's not constructive feedback. That's just, and it's not feedback at all because you're not giving it to the people that need the feedback. You're just, like, doing it to whine here. I'm casting Kiki this turn because I might chump block with him. And uh, next turn, my Ancestral Visions is going to come off suspend. So that means I'm going to have that to, um to draw more cards and use my mana with. I'm going as a mouth-breathing Twitch user for Halloween. God bless. You should whisper me on Twitch. Whisper me on Twitch or on, on Discord or Twitter. All of those are fine. Delta should have fetched basic swamp. Oh, because now my scalding tarns can't can't get. I just wanted to get my shock lands into play taps. I really can't afford to be shocking myself, Zach. Okay, we're going to six here, and they have one card left, and they have lingering souls in their bin. Not flashing back souls. That makes sense. I like how it puts both these in the same zone. That's funny. Um, 
I actually don't have four black here, right? Hey, Liabai with the six month resubscription. Thank you very much and welcome back. I appreciate the continued support. I think I actually want to hold the extra gristle brain in case they have a terminate for the first one. All right, we're not going to hold the third one. Yeah, I definitely think we charm plus bolt here. It's like take their thing off the table. How many Kikis do we have left? That's a good question. One, there's one Kiki left in my deck currently. So we'd like to draw our basic swamp or a fetch for our basic swamp. Yeah, knights have horses. See how you have a sword next to your horse? You're on horseback with a sword. See, save, savor the flavor. Savor the flavor. Yeah, did, undiddling the Jace to loot again, I think is good. Just like try and get to our Gristle Brand ASAP. I guess I could have done this on my turn. Didn't matter. Uh, I think I'd rather cast Faithless Looting here because I could find an Anger. Should have attacked, no reason not to. I guess they could have traded a spirit for it, but I think I'm okay with that. They have faithless looting, faithless looting in their bin, so we're dead to a few things here. Yep. Mm. Ugh, discarded Mountain Thought Seas, all right. So what's your last card? Terminate me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Terminate me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We've both cast Gristlebrand for eight mana in this league and put him into playoff as foretold. It's kind of great. Block. Dead to Fatal Push. Yep. Close game. Close game. All right, so because they're on, what's it called? Because they're on Ley Lines, I'm gonna board out two Gorios, Vengeances, and a Gristle Brand. I'm gonna bring back in, I'm gonna bring an Engineer Explosives and a Lightning Axe, I think. Why would it be a better decision to not bend the Brutality? Explain, use your words, tell me. Instead of asking me to defend myself, make an argument, construct a reason, make reasonable discourse. I think I might want to trim a living end too and bring in this as foretold. I 
I don't want to cut all of it in case they don't have the ley line, but I think like hedging our bets and having slightly less graveyard stuff in our deck seems okay. Let's do it. This hand doesn't really accomplish anything, but I kind of like just keeping hands that have lands in it. I played the explosives out proactively here because I would prefer to I'd prefer that they don't get to thought seize it out of my hand or inquisition it. Mora Sift with the sub gift. Thanks, bud. What you got? It's possible I should hold this to kill Pyromancer. God, what a fucking beating. That's really rough. You feel like our 5-0 is slipping away, chat. With the, the mono sub gifts. Karn definitely counts as land destruction. <laughs> you like how we boarded out one of these and two of these? Yeah, let's just move on to the next one. This deck was better than I thought it was going to be. It was it was more it was more resilient. Like obviously we just kind of got hosed that game. You could maybe argue that I was supposed to mulligan that game. I feel like this deck doesn't necessarily I feel like this deck's a little bit light on lands. I feel like a t I'd, I'd like to get at least a 20th land in here, like maybe trimming this random thirst for knowledge, but the core idea of what's going on here is fine. You're doing something objectively powerful. Like I, like I always say, like it's hard for a deck to truly be bad in modern if you um, if you can linear kill people with a linear turn two or turn three draw. And this deck has a turn two nut draw. It has turn one faithless looting, discard XR Kiki. Turn two as foretold off spirit guide living and then back into play. Those are the bit badges, Nivik. 